Daddy, Daddy, what happened? I've been looking for you. Don't cry again, my daughter. I want you to be strong. How can I be strong? When you left me alone in this world. No mother. No father. No brother. No sister. Just the wicked uncle and auntie. Don't worry, my daughter. It shall be well with you. Don't cry again. <laughs> It makes me sad when I see you cry. Daddy, are you going to stay with me? My daughter, after now you will not see me again. Don't cry. You have to be strong. I'll go. Daddy, please come back. Please come back! <laughs> <laughs> Big girl, wake up. Your uncle wants to see you. He's waiting for you outside. I'm talking to you. Just give me five minutes. You mean he should wait for you for five good minutes before you go and see him? Okay. Uh -huh. Where is you? Can we go for it? The idiot was just relaxing in the sitting room. I told her that you are calling her. You know what she said? She reluctantly said, I am coming. Eh? When I tried to persuade her, she said that she will come at her own time. Eh? That she will come at her own time? Imagine. Hey, look, that girl should not waste my time, oh. See, if I forget my hand on her face, they will say I'm wicked. If I go in there again, eh? She will get it hot from me. Yes. Support her. Support her. Uh -huh. Uncle, good morning. Come now, Rita, come. Um, you see this car, eh? Go and bring the keys and the documents. I'll be the one using it henceforth. Okay? Go and bring them. Did you not hear what he said? He said you should go in there, bring the car key and the documents immediately. Rita. Uncle. Didn't you hear what I said? Uncle, I want to talking about this. I don't understand why he said I should give you the car keys. This car belongs to my late father. Huh? Yeah. Your late father indeed. Mugwano, since it belongs to your father, let him come out from the grave and start driving it. Uh -huh. Because I don't see where dead people drive cars. Oh. Look, don't get me angry. Go and bring the, the, the key and the documents. Uncle, there is no way I am handing over my inheritance to you. You hear what? Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay, welcome. How are you? Fine, sir. 
You know you've not told me why you brought me out from my office this afternoon. Why are you being too inquisitive? Kevin, I have been calm all the way from my office up until now. I'm bravo to that. So, can we just go inside? What's happening inside? Come on, come on. Stop being inquisitive. Let's go inside first. Hi, Ma. Hey, how are you, darling? Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Yes, how are you doing? I'm good, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Kelvin. Mom? Is she the one? Yes, of course. As you can see, she's hmm. the one. Hmm. <clears throat> she's so pretty. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome, my dear. Zara, this is my mom. My pretty mom. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling her about you. Yes, she has. Mom, I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you, darling. She came visiting, and she demanded that she must see you immediately. Oh, Mom, I'm so happy to see you. You're welcome. Mm. I'm so glad to see you too, my dear. Do you know, Mom, I've been asking him why he was bringing me here, but then he has refused to tell me. Don't mind my son. He's like that. Just like his father. <laughs> He's just like his father. Ah, Kelvin. <laughs> You're so lucky to have found such a pretty one. Mom, Mom. She's the one who is lucky to have found someone like me. Jealousy will not kill you. Not jealousy, it's the truth. You know Jealous. It's okay. Both of you are lucky to have found each other. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking. <laughs> now you're talking. Oh my God. Okay, what's wrong with Let's go out. There's something for you to eat. Hmm? Can I visit the door? Mommy, let's make something for you. Yes, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have not seen her since morning. I have not seen her. Are you sure she's not in her room? She's not there. Her door is locked up, and there is no sign of her anywhere in this house. But wait, just what of the key to my brother's house in the city? Did she take it away with her? I don't know. Eh? But I did not see that key. I've searched everywhere, I did not see it. I told you since to seize it from her, you refused. Who knows whether she has gone to the city to sell the house behind you? Ah. Don't go there. She dares not. <laughs> Nakachuku, if she tries that thing, eh, I will kill her. Mm. Ah! Wait until something happens before you do anything. You will kill her. Mbano, let's see. Oh, yeah, go, go and get me my phone. You will not listen. Give me. Until it becomes late. Mbano, call. Let me see how she will pick the call. Somebody will be telling you something. You will not listen. Eh? Switched off. <laughs> Have you seen it? Ah, did I not tell you? Hey, if she tries it, if that girl touches any of my brother's properties, eh, I will kill her. Let her just try me. What, what, what kind of rubbish is this? Wait for her to do something before you act. Hi, oh, Yano. Hi. Every time I will, I will. Procrastination, they say, is the killer of time. <laughs> act! Rita, it's all right. Just try. No need to talk. Let her just try it. This man, eh? I wonder if you are a real man. Eh? Every time, procrastination. I will, I will, I will. You know they rich. What is all this? Huh? Stay at work. 
Okay, no, no. So they equally took my father's car. I woke up this morning and I said to myself, I, ca I can't continue with these people. They can kill me. It's okay. People are really wicked. So all they are after is your father's property. Hmm. Mm. I couldn't even believe it myself. Kate, this were people I used to buy expensive gifts for. When my father was alive. And because he's no more, they've decided to turn against. It's okay. That's human being for you. You took the right decision by leaving them. Let them enjoy. Let them enjoy everything while it lasts. Take it easy on yourself. Okay. Mm. Stop crying. Stop crying. Come on, stop. You don't have to do this to yourself. Okay. Okay. I didn't know you had moved from our area. Thank goodness I called you. Yes. This place is a better place for me. Peter, could you imagine that I was spending close to 2,000 Naira every day for transportation in Lent? So easy. Kate. You know, I can't really go back home because I, I can't stay there alone. I know. You can stay here. Feel free to stay here. Make here your home. You have everything. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, have you eaten something? Let me get you something to eat. Okay. You have to try and eat something. Eat something. For me. For real? Yeah. Babe, you didn't tell me about this. Must I tell you everything? This is this is wonderful. The bag is full. Of <laughs> Babe, this is why I'm always proud of you. Come yes. on, this So so proud of you. Mm. I did something for mommy. Thank you so much. You've tried. Thank you. Yeah. You just finished the whole boutique. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I'm glad you like them. I do. I more than do. So, where is my own? Nothing. Only for more. This is Basha. Hey. Oh, what is it now? Eh? What is it? Huh? What is it? Did I tell you I will not go to the city? Then why are you delaying? You will go to the city. What are you waiting for? Why don't you go today? Eh? Uh, must I go today? Eh? I plan to go day after tomorrow. I want to use today or tomorrow to, you know, look at some businesses that can, can make money from and take care of you. Huh? What is it? Businesses. How much do you get from the business you are doing here? <laughs> business that pays nothing. Eh? Then, which one is more important now? Going to the city and securing your brother's property that's worth millions of naira and the little business you do here that we don't get little or nothing. 
Which one is more important? Answer me. Ah, Amaka. Look, this business you say yields little or nothing. It's what I used to take care of you. Look at the way you are glowing. Oh. Must you argue? Must you argue with everything in everything that I say? You don't listen to me. That is the problem you have always been having in this house. Had it been you do listen to me, we would not be here arguing this. I told you to get that key from Rita since. But you always procrastinate. Look, no, no. stop pestering. Okay? That house in the city belongs to my little brother. And by extension, it belongs to me. Rita cannot tamper with it. If she does, I will kill her. Very simple. I kill her. The ah. play. The play. Peter Msegini. Gube Gube Gube. Must you procrastinate everything? Eh? Why don't you act? Prevention is better than cure. What kind of a man are you? Eh? Tell the one cable. Don't insult me. Don't ever try to insult me. You are the one insulting yourself, Abron Emara. If not that I fought for this car, we would have lost it. Lie. This car is my car. <laughs> I inherited it from my brother. So no. nobody can take it. No, what are you no. Saying? Without action. If Rita tampers with any of my late brother's properties, I will kill her. Simple. What no, are you talking no. about? No, no. You are the owner of this car. No, no. Am I not the one that fought for it? Am I not the one? If not for me, would you have gotten this car? Hey, look at you. Look at me. I'm driving a Range Rover Sport. Range Rover Sport. Who fought for it? Eh? Am I not even the one that taught you how to drive? Do you know how to drive? Me. Yes, me. I taught you how to drive. That's why you're getting out. I'm waiting for you. Jeg, yeah? I'm on there, Jeg. Because you have blocked it. You have blocked it. Because look well, you don't even know how to drive. Look well before you punch that car that at, at your back. Look well, oh. Because I know you cannot even take care of it. I'm not there. Most of the time, I even ashamed of you. Ashamed of you because you don't act like a man. You always procrastinate. Unchi. Magwarogi taalo. A man taalo. Eh, Peter. Bite. You bite. If I did not ask you to do anything, you will not do it. Eh? Useless man. Woman rapper. Kambalogi me. I am waiting for you. Jeloja, Bata, Agarocha must come back. And I'm there, Chelly. I'm not going anywhere. You must do what I ask you to do. Whatever I tell you is what you do. In a, in, in a good girl. I'm not up there. I'm working on no. Who is this your friend you keep talking about her wedding? Well, she's a good friend and a colleague at the office. Rita, some girls can be so lucky in this life. Her fiancé Kelvin is a very nice and kind-hearted man. Have you ever seen a man that loves a woman like him? Seriously speaking. <laughs> Sounds like something to be jealous of. Of course. They are perfect match. They love each other so much. In fact, that's where love lies. Well, love is a beautiful thing. But that's when you meet the right person you. This particular one, they are overripe. Really? Yes! I love that. <laughs> Welcome, girl. You shall leave long. What happened? Do you know we were just talking about you? I was actually telling my friend here about you and Kelvin. Are you serious? Yes, isn't that wonderful? It is. Hi. Hi. Um, um, Zara, meet Rita. Rita, meet Zara here. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Same here. Okay, I went to drop off Kelvin's mom, so I decided to come see you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You did well. Okay, let's go inside. What do we offer you? <laughs> Rita! <laughs> the Man is this? Huh? Tell the Woko Dufa. Woko Woko, get, get, get up from there. Get up! What kind of nonsense is this now? Eh? This beautiful dream that I was having. They were giving me numbers that I will use for my bet. And you are here, you just woke me up. You are a witch, oh, you are a witch. My hey! God, when oh, I why I did say... I marry this woman now? Oh. When I say that you don't have anything upstairs, 
it will look as if I don't know what I'm saying. You are senseless, useless, and stupid. You are senseless. You are stupid. You are foolish. You are everything you just said. Idiot. I wish you back the same. So you are here arresting. Instead of you to dress up and go to the city to protect your possession in Oreba. And you are happy about it. You are not ashamed of yourself. You mean you woke me up from this beautiful sleep? I was dreaming about collecting numbers for my bet. You woke me up because of the city thing? I'm not going again. Come and force me. You are not going again. I am not going again. Why are you making it look as if you are doing me a favor by going to the city to possess your possession? I'm doing you a favor. Yes, I'm doing you a favor. Because the money I will get from my bet is billions in short. How much, what are you, is it, is it car or what, what are you trying to possess? Who possession are you talking about? A poor dreamer. Your brother left something behind for you. What a lazy man like you cannot make in your entire life. You know you cannot make it. So instead of you to go to the city and possess it, you are here whiling away your time. Wait, so you want that stupid, foolish shooter to claim everything, okay? You call me a lazy man, eh? Are you not a lazy man? You are insulting me. See, there will be no peace for you in this house. No rest for you in this house until you dress up to go to that city. Really? Yes. So you want to force me? I have already forced you. You too, there will be no peace for you. Because a woman who says the husband will not rest, we call it no rest. If there's no peace for me, there's no peace for you. Come and force me. It's a hell of is that what you are saying? That is what I have said. What am I? Are, 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 are you touching me? Come. I will, I will beat you. Go, 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 go. I, will beat you. I, I will beat you. I have beat me. I will beat you. You must dress. You must I will beat you. Go in there so that you go to the... I will beat you. Beat you. I will go for you. Nice place. Yeah. Kevin has money. Your friend must be lucky. More than lucky. Upon that, Kevin loves us so, so much. Let's go and see. Come in, please. Who do we have here? Hey, so good. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hey. You're welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, hi, Kelvin. Kelvin is fine. He just stepped out to get something. I'm sure he'll send you back. Um, why? Well, what do I offer you guys? Mm. We have wine, soft drinks, beer, each thing you want. To mention but a few. <laughs> um, Get us a good wine, since this is my friend's first time of coming to your house. Sure, and I will do my best to entertain her. Because I like her, she, she kind of looks cool. Forget that look. <laughs> She's a bad girl. <laughs> Please don't mind kids, that's how she talks. <laughs> but I'm always saying the truth. <laughs> Let me get you something. <laughs> Nice interior. <laughs> Kelvin has high face. I, I pray God gives me a man like Kelvin. You know, I would love to meet this your Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin. We praised him way too much. That's a fact. Don't worry. You're going to confirm it yourself. Okay. <laughs> When they say delay is dangerous, my husband will not listen. Have you seen it? Have you seen what happened? If we are, why are you shouting? Why won't I shout? Wait. You can tell me why I will not shout. 
I talk, you will not listen. It will be as if I talk too much. Stop what? shouting. Is it my fault that they padlocked the no, gate? No, it is my own fault. It is my fault that they padlocked it. Eh? Had it been you listened to me and came here earlier, all this would not have happened. She would not have run away with the key. If you go here now, you have seen it. You, you, you blame people too much. Why Everything won't I blame, blame you? Blame, 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 blame. You are, you are always co you are Napoleon Bonaparte. You are, you are always correct. What is your own? Look at it now. Eh? We don't have access to this house again. So, what, what, what do we do? There's a notice here. Okay. To whom is my concern? This property is my concern. Hey. Hey. What is the meaning of this? I'm hey, hey, hey. Don't, 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 don't touch it. Ah. What is wrong with you? Can't you see that it's written by a lawyer? See, barrister, esquire. Do you, do you know what esquire means? If you tell this thing now, he will sue you and they will put you in prison. I will not come to visit you. I'm telling you the truth. So, what are we going to do now? Um, let's go home. Let's go to the village. Uh, I will call Rita later. Hmm. Okay, you have to call her now. I said I will call her later. No need of procrastination. Call her now. You must call her now. Okay, now. the way you are talking with force, not her now. No, now. Come on, force me now. What is it? Must you do all your things by force? Ah! I beg, I'm going. What is it? I'll come back here. Where, where do you think you are going? I said, call her now. Call her. This woman, you are climbing the tree more than the leaf. What is this? Eh? Stop this thing, though. Leave me. Peter, act like a man for once. Stop this foolishness. Call her. It's your father that is foolish. Eh? Come, let me warn you. Even though that my father advised me not to beat a woman, eh? <laughs> I would have talked about you a long time ago. Take time, oh. Take time. I see if you can beat me. Eh? Eh? Look, let me tell you. Don't disgrace yourself. See you, boy. Beautiful home. Thank you. She's Kelvin's pet. <laughs> Kelvin can pet her, eh? Huh. Oh, let me eat my talking piece. A man should love his woman more, especially his wife. To find such quality in a man is rare. You are right, my dear. My husband is different from other men. Mm -hmm. I have never seen his type. Like, he's so intentional about me. Like, he's just too perfect. Ogonta! Hey, Just come, come, come. Okay. Wash this car for me. Okay. I'll wash it for you, eh? You can't wash it. Eh? Okay. Me, I'll be washaholic. Now, what thing I can do with my life? I'll wash it. I'll be wash car. What thing I do with my life? Bro? Yeah, but watch this car finish now. Okay, I'll dash me. I'll go use acidic cream. Wash the tire. This ring, man. Hey, if I wash that, man, it will shine like you. Hey, hey, where are you going? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, 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 Good afternoon, Kelvin. How are you? I'm fine. Meet my friend Rita. Hi. Rita, how are you? Oh, babe. Let me get upstairs and uh, freshen up. Okay, I'll go with you. I told you. She's Kelvin's spit. I told you. <laughs> Let it be. I'll join you guys soon. Take your time, dear. Enjoy yourself. I told you. Have you seen the guy now? Rita. Oh, he's there. Are you alright? Oh, yes, sure. Okay, I'll, I was I was talking about Kelvin. 
cute guy. Yes, he is. <sighs> Drink up. Eat your turkey. Eat, eat, eat. Get to now, eat. Hi. Rita. Rita in my house. How come? Where has she been all this while? Where is she coming from? How did she get here? How did she come to this place? How? Ah, not now. Not now. Oh my god, how am I going to explain this to Zara? How am I going to explain this? No. Hi. Hi, honey. I thought you were at home. I know. Who are you talking to? I wasn't talking to anyone. Just talking to myself. Okay. How's your friend done? Yes. Is anything the matter? No, not at all. Do you look worried? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Come on, I'm good. So, did you miss me today? Mm. Mm. No, I did. Do Are you, you sure? Need to ask. Sure. Yes. So tell me, how do you see Kate's friend? She seems like a nice person, and I like her. Has it been long you met her? Uh, you know, I met her for the first time at Kate's place. That's the your mom left for the village. Then this is her first time visiting. How come you're concluding that she's a nice person? Well, I mean, this is the second time you're meeting her. Well, from a disposition, like they say, by their fruit you shall know them. It's okay, I'm kind of uh, famished right now. So famished. So Can me. I get something to eat? What do you want to eat? Anything available. Okay, so mm -hmm. give me 10 minutes. It's I'll okay. Be with you. Okay? Get it, else I'll eat you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Would I have known that a Kelvin kid was talking about was the one I know? I never believed I would ever see him again. He has totally changed. He is now a rich man. I'm Rita. Zara called to know if we got to home soon. Rita! Rita! Kate, are you alright? Oh, yes, I am fine. Are you sure it's not about your dad again? I said I'm fine. Okay, since you say you're fine, um, Zara actually called to know if you go home. Okay. Okay. Um. What? They look so good together. Yeah. <laughs> How long have they been together? How long have they been together? Mm. About two to three years. In fact, this year is making them three years together. Um, why did you ask? No, nothing. Just asking. Three years. Yeah. And a perfect match. So, what do we eat? Talk to me. Ah, I'm going to change up. I'm too tired and I need to rest.
last box. Ah. I'm okay. Why are you sitting here boiling? And you've not opened the door. Who am I talking to? Am I talking to a deaf and dumb person? Open this door, let me go inside. What is it? Peter. That's my name. I am not opening any door. Why? I said I'm not opening any door until you do the needful. Which needful are you talking about? Eh? Please, I don't want your wahala this afternoon. Open this door, let me go inside and rest. Okay. You want us to start, Abby? It's okay, you know. Since you want my problem, this way. Peter, read my list. I said, read my list very well. I am not going to open any door until you call her. Ask her where she is. Let her come here and hand over the keys to your brother's properties to you. Why will you do that? Is it when I die? Is it when you will do that? Call her! Call her before I run! I, 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 I got it up! I can see that you have lost it. You are the one that has lost it. In fact, you are mad. You are running mad. You are crazy. You are not a man. I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed to be called your wife. Because you are not a real man. You are not. I am not a man. Yes. Not a real Prove man. Prove it. What of you? Are you a woman? Prove it. Now you prove to me that you are a woman. Seven good years of marriage in this house. Feeding you, clothing you, taking care of you. Your womb is so polluted that you can't even bear me a child. And you call yourself a woman, you should be ashamed of yourself. Idiot! You open your mouth to say that I'm not a real man. I don't know if Peter. That's my name. Are you the one saying this to me? Oh, yes, I am. I thought you said you loved me. Are you indirectly calling me a barren woman now because I've been unable to give you children? That is what you are. Is it my fault? Is it my fault that I've not given you any child? No, 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 no. Come to think of it, Peter. Is it my fault? Did you implant anything in my womb and I refuse to bring it out as a baby to you? Those women that have children, is it not their husbands that implant something into their wombs for them to conceive and give them children? Is it my fault? You are very wicked. You are very heartless. You are not a man. Yes. I'm wicked. Yes. You are saying you are not barren. If you are not barren, all the things have been deposited inside you. Where did you keep them? Do you, do, okay, when we finish, you go to somewhere. And remove them, or you take them to Kovu. Idiot! You are supposed to give birth to children with this I'm depositing in you. Now you are here talking nonsense. Are you not barren? What did you do? You talk of love. What is love? Look, in a marriage, eh? Love must be complemented with children. Children! So when children now co join with love, then the marriage is consolidated. Not you coming here to say, I love, love, love. Look, love is not blind, though. If you use the right microscope, you will see the color of love. Give me children, real children. How can I give Yo. you children? Peter, tell me, how can I give you children? By getting Is it pregnant. those water things you are depositing inside of me? Oh. Those water things that don't have weight, does not have weight. All that men deposit big things that can be able to form babies into their women's womb well for them to can, conceive can, can you and give them you children. Are you give me smelly water things. Can you see that you are confessing? How do you know that it's watery? So each time I put it inside you, you can't bring it out. Then you check whether it's watery. Because I give you something solid. Yeah, I know. Solid. I know that it's watery because as soon as you deposit it, uh, immediately I get up. Pium, it will go up like water. Uh, yes. Because you open. Because you don't know what to Look do. Yourself. You are not a real man. It is all right. Yes. Open this door. Let me go inside. I am not opening any door. Oh, you are not opening the door. And break it. I told you that you are not. Doing. I am going outside. Prove yourself. I will go and give those watery things to people who can consolidate them, consolidate the whole thing, and make them children. Woo! Don't believe you. Don't believe you. Woo! Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you too. Since all these years. All this place you, you have been playing around with women. How many of them have them gone here to show that you have a, that you are not enough? None of them have.
I can't even sleep at night anymore. She's always on my mind. Every day and night. Why did she surface now that I'm about to settle down? I know she loves me, I know. I know she still loves me. Babes. Hmm? Are you okay? Hmm. Just having a slight headache. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's not like you. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't just want to disturb your sleep. When did you start keeping things from me? I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. That's not acceptable. How can I be sleeping and then you are awake? I'm so sorry about that, okay? Okay, maybe I should go get you water. Yeah. Maybe to relieve it. Yeah, give me some water, it's okay. even sleep. I keep thinking about him. Why this? I thought I would never see him again. He was the love of my life. He was everything I had until... Rita, Rita, you must sleep in. This is one AF. You're not sleeping. What could be bothering you? You've not been yourself in recent time. What could be bothering you? Should I tell her about Kelvin? Britta. Not tonight, fine. You're hiding something from me. I've told you to move on with your life and forget about the past. No amount of worries will bring back your dad. It's okay. I see that I am fine. Okay. He didn't tell me why your uncle called this afternoon. I didn't pick his call. Better. So, can we go inside now? Let's go sleep. Here's the phone.
Peter. 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 Yes, sir. Where is Peter? Where is Peter, your husband? Ah. Sister Lizzie. Ah. You're welcome, oh. Where is Peter? Why are you being aggressive? Huh? At least you should respond to my greetings first now. I am not here for your useless greetings. Oh, Peter, my greetings. Yes! I am not here for your useless greetings. Oh, so it's true. It is true that the both of you drove our late brother's daughter out of this house. Was eh? that the reason you ignored our greetings? Yes. Because you are very wicked. Yes, you are very wicked. Amaka. Amaka. I know you are the brain behind this. Stop pushing my brother, Amaka. Stop pushing my brother around. I also heard that you both went to the city. Why are you this wicked? Why? Auntie, I have been respecting you. I have respected you enough because you are my husband's sister. If you insult me again, I will insult you back. Are you mad? You know, voila! Why you never give me see? Do you think I'm Peter, your husband? Eh? Do you think I'm Peter, you push around anyhow you want? Listen, this is my father's house. If you mess around with me, I will send you to where you belong. Nonsense. Elizabeth. How dare you? Huh? How dare you slap my wife right in my presence? What is wrong with you? You don't even have respect? Peter. Peter, if I hear pain again from your mouth. Peter, if I hear pain again from your mouth. I will slap her again. Eh? Yes. I will slap her again. What are you What are you Peter? Now listen. I am coming back. This car. Yes. Wait. To which car? My car. No, no, no. You want to come and tow my car from my compound? Onyoshi. You are not serious. Onyoshi. Is this your car? Is it yours? Thief! Listen. I will tow the car. When I tow it, I will call Rita, the rightful owner of the car, to come and take her late father's car. It belongs to her. And when I come back and don't find this guy, <laughs> I will address the both of you. Nonsense. Yeah. Uh, did she slap you? Is it painful? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Ah! Ah! You slapped me! You were here, right before you. Your sister slapped me, and you could not even defend me. You are here telling me sorry. Sorry kill you there. You better call her and tell her not to tamper with this car. Else, something will happen. You see. And that is why you have to slap me. Eh? Lizzie slapped you. You couldn't slap her back. You couldn't fight her. If it is me, you'll be behaving like lion, lion, lion. You see yourself? Lazy thing. Look, if not that my father told me not to be pity woman, eh? I would have given you a back court. What is it? Anyway. My dear, what are you doing in my house? You know, I think that question should be for you. <laughs> okay, so you know what is good for you? Just go in there, pack your things and leave. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You are the one to leave because I was here before you. Liar. You are a big liar. Kevin is mine and I will not allow another woman to take him from me. So if you know what is good for you, just go there. Pack your things, else I will push you myself. If you are as little as lay a finger close to my body, I will deal with you ruthlessly. Okay, ma, if you don't want me to push you, leave honorably. Please. 
stupid? Huh? Are you stupid? Hey. Did you just slap me? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is it? <laughs> Baby, she slapped me and said that I should leave the house. What? Oh no. What has come over you? <laughs> I, I, I didn't touch her. I did not touch her. Hey, 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 you shut up. You liar. Where are you lying? Do you know what? Do not make me throw you out of this house. Baby, she doesn't belong here. Just throw her out. Did you hear that? Huh? <laughs> you do not belong here anymore. So you just have to leave this house. Why are you treating me like this because of this stranger? Hey, don't spread me anything. Hello. Don't spread me. I am no stranger. I was here before you. Now leave before I throw you out myself. Look, I know your plans, but it will not work. Are you, are you actually talking back at my wife? Are you mad? Me. Huh? Hey, my friend, I'm talking to you. Come on, get out. That's Are you my mad? Husband. Are you stupid? Now, go in there, pack your things, and leave this house oh, this minute. No, 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 baby. Let her just go from there. Just move. I don't want to see you again if I come back here. Do you hear that? <laughs> this is Egede Way Bomb. I did not abandon you. Have you forgotten how your father humiliated me? Humiliate father? Humiliate? Is he dead now? Yes. Oh. He died early this year of cardiac arrest. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you. I never knew I would ever see you again. Same here. So why did you run away from me?